Street of Barfield. It's uh, game day, it's Kurt Eastman Rangers second team versus Field AFC Reserves. It's going to be a tough match. Field are a very good team. This is a uh, both their teams have been very dominant in West Yorkshire football recently, so we are expecting a tough match. But as our first team showed against Carlton Athletic last weekend, if you take your chances, believe in yourself, play as a team, then uh, three points can be got. So we'll have to wait and see what happens today. Uh, pitch wise, it's, uh, it's mucky, it's muddy, it's going to cut up uh, weather wise. We've got a bit of sun, we've had a bit of rain coming down to the uh, the ground and it's certainly windy so we'll have to see what they uh, bring into the game but hopefully get some good focus. Uh, I've caught up with uh, John Paul, second team assistant manager and also the manager for the newly formed veteran side which we're going to touch on in a, a minute but first of all Field at home, it's going to be a tricky match. Tough day, they're doing well in the league. Uh, we've, uh, we've had a bit of a discussion internally, had a bit of a change, change in formation, change in personnel. Uh, Format with Jenna, it's a bit strength in midfield. Uh, we'll change it to a 5 3 2. Uh, I think we're sort of going to try and, try and be a bit harder to beat. I think over the last couple of weeks, I think teams have found pockets and that's where we've been experimenting, giving people game time. Um, but no, looking forward to it. It's, uh, Sun's come out, thankfully, giving us a chance to play. Pitch is looking alright, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's a chance to offer the last two. They showed a really improved performance against Headley last week, uh, not last week, two weeks ago. Um, a penalty, which is also a really crap way to lose a match. So, are you expecting the guys to build on that performance? 100%. I think it was one of our better performances, probably this turn of the year, really. I think um, we're really unlucky. I think what let us down at times was possibly the final third. I think we did everything but score, really. <laughs> um, you know, the dying minutes, we sort of threw everything at it, which unfortunately is what sort of led to the penalty being uh, conceded. But um, no, massive, massive step for us that I felt. And uh, yeah, sense to build on and move forward to. And as I say, I'm looking forward to this, especially with that new shape. I think having two up there might, uh, might give us a bit more support. Brilliant. So I'm going to put you on the spot and give us a score prediction for today for this one. Two on the end. Oh! oh. Right, so let's also talk about your new venture in some respects. Monday Night Veterans over at uh, Leeds um, Division 2. What made you do it? Uh, Sunday team been doing well. Uh, I think we've got a lot of players still kind of on that fringe line of still could possibly play on a Saturday, especially for the second team. Difficult with commitments mm. uh, on a weekend. A lot of people having junior, to, you know, sort of kids and junior teams and stuff. So it can be difficult at times. So um, yeah, we'd sort of discussed about uh, yeah, we discussed about a Monday night, and um, yeah, it's uh, it, it, I think it's quite exciting for us to be fair. We, we started our first game, went really well. Uh, got some good interest. Got some more people being involved as well. Um, and a couple of new faces that have joined, so yeah, it's, it's going alright. Uh, Pontefract Sports Veterans, go on, score prediction. You know I love to do this, do you? 3 0 B. Oh, you just love him, don't you? Time pre-match now with Brandon Trower. Um, new to the club this uh, season. How are you finding it so far? Great, yeah. It's, uh, it's a great group of, group of lads. We, uh, everyone's starting to work hard together, which is fantastic. Um, we've got a tough match today against a team that's second in the league, but we've got a few changes. We've got a few tweaks. How are you feeling about them? I think we just need to go for it, really. I mean, with the new formation, I think it's going to be fantastic. I think everyone's going to start working for each other really nicely today. Um, everyone, that's what we need. Uh, we've put the shift in the past couple of games that we've had and we just need to keep that going. Go on, score prediction, let's put you on the spot. Ooh. <laughs> well, I reckon it's going to be quite a close game, so I'm going to go 2-1 in our favour. Oh, I love it. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank well you done, very mate. much. You too.
So at half time, 1 0 to field, um, goes basically midway way through the first half. Uh, quite well worked, um, annoying for Rangers, but uh, that's the way it goes. I'll have to regroup and obviously uh, start again in the second half, which is just about to kick off, I think. So final score, 4-0 to the field, uh, AFC reserves. Bit of a hard one to take again for quite a while, the lads were good. Um, certainly got threatening in the second half, then some late goals, knocks the stuffing out of them. Uh, that's the way it is in football. Regroup, try again next week and hopefully get the result that some of the performances definitely deserve. Again, very much improved performance. Um, just not going for us in front of goal at the moment. But we'll try again. So post-match with Skipper down Flynn, uh, but 4-0, was it a justified 4-0? No, it's one of them where we've stayed in the game for probably 80 minutes and we've, and we've put the work in all game, it's the last 10 minutes, we've had a, look, a few lucky breaks, got got three goals really, but at 1-0 we've had two brilliant chances, Finn, Finn had, a, uh, had a great run, a kid made a good save and uh, I think it was Matt as well. All at 1-0 where we could easily equalise against a really good team, but now I want to be today. Um, but now if we keep working like that, the results will come. We've got Aberford next week, so that's a massive game now. Yeah, good to see the youngsters coming through though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's a really young team, the youngest team since I've been here. I mean, I'm one of the oldest at the minute. But yeah, no, some really good young players from a lot down from the mm. junior team, so now it's really good to see, so hopefully as the season goes on and seasons go on, we'll uh, like they'll come better and better. That'll be great for the club. Brilliant. Thanks, now I'll let you go and get a dry no now. Cheers, Cheers mate. mate.